Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host Mike and Kameo, well he's not out, uh, he's uh, out and about uh, getting set up and ready to head out to the East Coast again. So we'll catch him uh, tomorrow with an East Coast swing to see how what he's got going on and what deals he's got going down and what he thinks of the newest uh, poppin' hot stocks. Get your comments in, like and subscribe and get in for the Chick-fil-A gift card that will be coming up next week for the drawing so get your comments and uh, things like that uh get your stocks what stocks do you guys want to talk about uh i've got a good show planned for you today the, one of the first stocks i'm going to talk about is uh apty apty apt systems incorporated last tick was 0 0.0155 apt incorporated operates a developmental stage company with interest in creation of innovative equities trading platforms stock research tools and visualization solutions for financial markets okay guys going on the website well it looks pretty decent for, for some of your uh, your uh, OTC sub penny range stocks uh, this one actually looks pretty decent geese according going onto the website as far as going there uh, it doesn't look like one of those uh, cheap seats uh, garage type websites when you go there or findawebsite.com, things like that. Their focus, they're concentrated on the management and pioneer of innovative trading research tools along with significant platform solutions for fund management. Uh, their projects, their approach to research and design has them co uh, combining their leadership and technology for market uh, indicators for the preparatory method so they can deliver modern tools for modern traders. Uh, trading strategy, despite that you may have heard buying and selling stocks online is not difficult. Some people would like you to believe. SEC reporting, view form 10Q and 10K filings for an uh, interactive data format. So you have uh, that on the website if you want to go check that out. You get emotionally attached to some of these things, you're, you're not gonna, it's not going to make you a better trader. So if you're new to the game or anything like that, holding is good. But sometimes if you got it in on the cheap and you have to lock in and get back in later, you need to get those profits in and put those profits in. So getting back to uh, the Ken Charts part, they have a beta tester sign-up. If you want to become a beta, te beta tester sign-up person to do a, do a beta test, you can do as uh, you could put down if you're a trader or you're an investor because they're going to want to know that. Or you could just make up whatever you want and put whatever, whatever you want and you can message them. They probably won't. Uh, talk to you on that, but going to the website, it is going around through it. Uh, it is, like I said, it is a little better. Uh, but uh, the beta tester, uh, sorry, the Ken charts is the most interesting thing on here because, like I said, when that uh, comes out to uh, taking off or moving, uh, the, it's only going to move propel this. I mean, if the whole project bombs, obviously it's it's going to go south, but. Uh, I think it's still worth a look to check out because it could this thing could pop in the long term Okay guys, so on the alphabets there. There's there's not much there It's just your common like they uh, filings things like that on the website nothing huge there But we're gonna go to stock wits and see what the real traders are saying looks like we got stock goats fired up tomorrow LFG So tomorrow same time same percentage. Okay sounds good APT what happened here? Where's my diamond hand millionaires at tonight? How much you holding? I'm still finding 583.3 million shares outstanding. Someone corrected me and said there was 2.1 billion. I posted my findings and still only have 583.3 million. Does someone have a source that could be posted to prove otherwise? I don't see 2.1 uh, billion anywhere. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Someone posted something really stupid. APT so far, Glenda has delivered only CEO that hasn't disappointed me in small time in the OTC world. Glenda, keep it coming. Uh, this nurse is tired of APTY taking me, COVID kicking kicking butts again. Yeah, that's unfortunate there. Uh, with, that's from uh, Handicap uh, Heaven there. So uh, with this, as far as with Stockwitz, this, 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 uh, these, the Stockwitz people out there, they give more information than the actual the alphabets and more credible information. So if you're new to the show and want to find out some of the flow to what's going on uh, out there on some of the boards, check out Stockwitz. They just got they've got so many people on the boards there that are uh, good traders and things like that. We love Stockwitz. 
EPTY, what does anyone think we'll see uh, this year? You think uh, 25 cents? Yeah, we'll see what happens. It just depends on the news of that app there, right? APTY is still flying away under, still flying way under the radar. I've been crazy. I have crazy dreams about this stock hitting record numbers. Uh, let's see here. Bullish, volume heavy. Uh, been here quite some time, and I'm not selling anytime soon. Yeah, this guys. My final take on this one, after seeing what everybody's got there, uh, the, my final take on this one is that this is definitely, definitely one if. It depends where your buy point is and what you're doing, uh, but it's definitely one you want to take a look at. It's definitely on my radar. Uh, so check it out, see what you think, and we're going to move on to the next. Okay, guys, the next stock we're going to talk about is WKHS. WKHS. Last tick was $9.32. It's up $0.18 cents after hours. Going through the six-month history, I'm going to pop up the chart here on Market Watch for you. You can check that out there, right there. Give that a little pause there for a second. You could see as of in March, you were down a little bit in the below 15 of March 21. Then you go into April and you take a significant dump, and then you get some resistance on that chart as you're following along. Going back in July, we're popping up uh, 15 and above, 15 and above, and then a complete dump off. So we'll go dive into the alphabets, check out why there was a dump off and why we're popping up there. We'll go into Stockwitz and check out that information. Okay guys, so Workhorse is a technology company which engages in the provision of sustainable solution to commercial transport sector. It operates an original equipment manufacturer which designs and builds better electric vehicles. Going on to the website. Uh, working the website obviously it looks pretty decent uh, going on here we I mean we have a decent price stock here so I would expect it to be the way it is it's a very interesting stock though working uh, how you always and can you only get so far workhorse is changing the way, way the world works technology they have more electric vehicles on the road than any other company uh, delivery vans their next generation C series vans are all electric by design and composite technology at a hundred mile range their previous delivery vans were e100s and e gens and they had 8.5 uh, miles on a uh, million miles on all of them by some of the premier package delivery companies in the world yes i actually think i do remember a company to be named later uh that had uh that did actually have these in and i'm going to tell you just from my opinion i it was about a 50 50 range of what they thought they what they thought they were as far as that it was 50-50. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Uh, they probably come a long way since the company be named later, but I will say that this 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 is this is very as far as with the direction of uh, the current government is going. Uh, I would say, uh, and we don't have to agree or disagree with what direction it is, but as far as uh, paperwork trails and things like that. I would say that the next two and a half to three years would be uh, this is something you're going to want to watch with the company, especially like this. Uh, they are based out of Ohio, which is another good thing. Uh, but anyways, back on that there, the delivery drone, they have delivery drones. The future package delivery is already here, flying through the air, designed to fully uh, autonomous as well as work in tandem with all electric uh, vans and the custom built drone technology deliver safety and efficiency to your doorstep. Built workhorse, are the, the AIRS app connects to the horsefly drone to completely for the complete user experience. So guys, you could be sitting on one here that yeah, it's $8 today, uh, depending on where they go and how things do and uh, as far as with, uh, they, they could get some type of deals uh, with some of the people up on the, up on the hill there. Uh, this could be the next mover, you never know. Uh, telematics, the in-house integrated systems has information more than 8.5 million uh, miles of tracking more than 350 vehicles. Uh, the mobile technology application allows all metrics of your electric fleet's performance at the palm of your hand. So you have that too as well. Where it all began. The electric uh, vehicles established in 2007 as a de uh, developmental stage vehicle electric company. They experimented with the added battery electric power at two-seat roadsters in 2009 and 2010. Progressive Insurance sponsored the rigorous nationwide uh, 
uh, competition for clean producing capable vehicles. Our 100% electric GM Sky was, on, was the only mass produced vehicles in the competition. There you go. All the vehicles that were primarily prototyped with concept vehicles not suitable for driving on public roads. We are one of eight uh, finalists in the side-by-side -side seating company. So there you go for that. Okay guys, going into Yahoo Finance, let's actually see uh, if they're parroting each other on this, they're mocking each other on the Mockingbirds, or uh, they'll actually have all a bunch of fresh takes. We'll see what happens. So it looks like we got this, this is from uh, I'm on Gosh. So I, li I like some of his uh, articles he writes sometimes there. Uh, is Workhorse a good buy under $10, he says. The manufacturer uh, recent pilot program USDA has garnered significant uh, investor attention. But even though WKHS stock is currently trading less than $10, $10 given the news of the reduction of its equity position in Lordstown Motors ride uh, and uh, ballooning losses, it's worth betting on it. It's, it is it worth betting on the stock now? Let's find out. Uh, the Ohio-based manufacturing uh, battery electric vehicles and providing mobility solutions to commercial transport sector. Sector WKHS shares have gained 1.5 and a half percent in over five days, driven by the company's recent deal here, deal with the U.S. Department of Agriculture to run pilot programs to provide small unmanned air, aerial systems to support the department's uh, efforts in Mississippi, but the stock plummeted. The 15.8% over the past month and a 50.90 year to date reflecting investor concern, WKH under underwhelming second quarter earnings report. So you do have that which is not helping its cause. But uh, as we know, this uh, the regime, or we would call them, or uh, Gov likes to uh, dump a lot of dollar riskies into this type of stuff. So, with leaving it at just that, uh, I would say it's still it still is worth a peek uh, as far as after what you know what he's saying so far. You still have to keep it on your radar. You can't be negative about it. Uh, but if they got some more Fed dollar riskies thrown up, flowing into it, it it's still worth a look. Okay, so they say he says uh, closing yesterday's session at nine dollars and eighty-one cents. The since the stock is trading seventy-seven point two percent below the fifty-two week price uh, of forty-two ninety-six, with the sudden replacement of CEO Dwayne Hughes in July, WKHS withdrew its previous announced guidance and expected production of a thousand vehicles in twenty twenty-one. Furthermore, the company's new CEO, Richard uh, Dausch, plans to revise the C one thousand vehicles design after delivering only 14 vehicles in the last quarter. Although WHKS is expanding its product line, improving its operational capabilities, the recent news regarding selling is the most stake in battling EV maker Lordstown Motors uh, ride could make investors anxious about this stock. Which I see momentum as far as ride when we covered that one. That was freak, that stock was nuts and obviously uh, it's one of the hot poppers right now that everybody's gravitating towards. So. Uh, with this, uh, he says, here's what we think could influence this stock to performance in the, in the long term. Uh, the early investor in Ride divested 72% of its stock in the winning company this summer. The Wall Street Journal reported that EV truck maker sold 11.9 million shares of Lordstown Motors July 1st, thereby reducing the 9% stake. Uh, the problem that he says is that the financials. The revenue came in at 1.2 million for the second quarter, June 30th, 2021, versus 91,942 in the second quarter of 2020. But however, its gross loss stood at 13.5 million. Ouch. You guys, going on to Stockwitz. Apparently, Bernie's here. He's out for the party here, and he's on the boards tonight. Looks like he says nobody's suspicious of the timing of this report. Uh, Stonk Trader Stonk says, here's a thought, why would the short start closing positions if WHKS is such a big POS? Wouldn't you keep uh, the position open? Oh yeah, right. You're scared and want to book your profits and losses and leave. Not far of a reach there. And the gamma is going to squeeze on Friday. Could be insane. Uh, let's see what else they have here. Uh, you got half of a horse <laughs> for WKHS. Uh, that's freaking hilarious, man. Oh, you guys got to see this, dude. I'm sorry. I got to hold up, hold this up for the meme there. Yeah, that, that's actually funny. 
Uh, looks like we got Stonky Stonk says short slowing, closing positions, great sign, tossing the towel, cost of borrow increasing, making it more expensive for shorts to short us. Uh, progressives launch a campaign to exclude gas from Congress, clean electricity program from the Hill. So that's from uh, the old Hill. That's another one of your alphabet parrots there. WKHS, love me some WKH, but anyone watching ADA, USDA climb, I'm like this, bullish. Yeah, that's that's my take on it. As long as you have uh, the dealings with the with the the Fed dollar ruskies there, you still can't part ways or anything like that. You still gotta you still gotta hold on and see. Or but if you're gonna lock in your profits, you gotta do what you gotta do of where you bought it at. So don't get emotionally attached, like we said before in the program. Uh, WKH, I only own one stock, ready for war. Hey, one stock is better than not having any stock. Some bucks is better than no bucks, too. Uh, dumb for not believing every word Panda Bear says. That comes from Cave Thing. Uh, CM Felt says, where would we be without workout Linus Layla Bear, DD comment spamming father? <laughs> and he's got Ferris, you're my hero on there. Awesome. Uh, St. Louis Pete says, literally two months old info. You think the new CEO doesn't know what's happening with the company before he, before he signs? Right. Uh, green tomorrow, LFG. Uh, Crave thing. WKHS yawns toward the haters. The guy who shorted Tesla at 100 in February 2020 is shorting WHKS now. <laughs> oh, that's why I squeeze. Yeah. WHK, that's the problem with the internet is you have screenshots and so if you uh, have your uh, if you have your take there and somebody screenshots it they're gonna troll you and meme you all day long here's interesting uh, from workhorse believer WKHS UPS environmental impact statement shows they continue uh, to be biased against EVs still misinformed and stupid and the article is from VIA Zeta, a workhorse believer, popped it up. United States Postal Service impacts, cooks the books, and demonstrates a clear bias against electric vehicles. Zeta. Okay, so the next stock we have is CEE, -E, sorry, CEI, CEI, Camber Energy Incorporated. Last tick was 0 0.74. The six-month history on this, well... Uh, it looks like March of 2021, uh, we, they, it looks like it was up above a little bit almost to uh, $1.50 range and then it just took a dump and dropped all the way down to uh, looks like August 21. We're below 50 cents and now we're starting to climb. Uh, background into this company, uh, they're an independent oil and natural gas company. This could be huge right here guys. Okay. So this is not a hot take or anything to get you guys going or anything like that. Or this is this is an oil and natural gas company. We talked about this one in the winter, and uh, obviously uh, when it was up, uh, we it, it went up after we talked about it around in the February uh, March's time. It, it jumped up there and then took a dump. So your time as it as it goes down now because you're in the warm months. Obviously with gas, natural gas. This could almost be like a U gas D gas thing. Uh, I don't I don't uh, know if you guys uh, trade energy or anything like that, but obviously in the summertime, uh, the summertime is the time you want to buy your natural gas because in the winter time people go through natural gas. And I could tell you this winter, uh, depending I mean it depending on how cool it's going to be. Uh, with the the current circumstances of the way things have gone in uh with the current regime and things like that with natural gas you are going to pay up the ass and i wasn't trying to be funny or anything i'm just telling you the truth uh with this coming up this winter this might not be a bad play at this price now i personally would find a buy point where i can get in i like to get in on the cheap this still is cheap from where it could be, but uh, if they have another, if there's other scares or things like that out there where there's shortages or anything like that, you will make coin. Yes, you will. So going into this company, uh, also, they, it looks like they're in uh, West Texas there. So again, uh, let's actually, let's go dive into that. Let's just uh, do a little speculation here and dive in. Oh, okay. So we do have our answer. If you go back to the one-year history 
and you go into the time about when uh, this bad boy uh, goes into uh, the remember when the card freeze hit when the cold front came down into Texas and uh, it was an Arctic blast and all the everything shut down this sucker jumped above the two dollar range so this could be uh, like a you gas d gas kind of play like back in the old days from the old school where you go in and swing it I would personally right now I would go in and find your buy point and look at this. Just have it take a look and see if you want to add this to your portfolio there to check it out. Uh, then you can lock in your profits and get in again cheap. But you just got to find your buy point, see what you're going to do. But this is an interesting play. And I picked this up uh, off of Stockwitz. Uh, it's not on a pump and dump list, but it could be and it could show up. It is currently trending, uh, but I would find a buy point uh, where you can get in, uh, where you're going to get in, and then. Possibly hold until that January, December, March range, and then uh, if there if there if there's some kind of natural disaster or some kind of uh, cold spell or anything like that, you're gonna you're gonna make some coin there, man. You you're gonna make some decent coin. So at this price, it's a bargain ba basement discount price. I wouldn't buy it on a green on a green right now. I would wait uh, to see if you can get in any cheap seats before it's still cheaper. But we're we're in September. So uh, see what you can do, and uh, we'll uh, go to the website, check it out, and go a little bit more into it like we did before. Going on to the website, looks pretty good. Uh, about them, their growth-oriented organization leveraging the relationship and expertise in professionals to build uh, diversified energy and power solutions to help uh, service the energy users in North America. Growth strategy, they're levering expertise and relationships on building diversified organizations with profitable business uh, segments and increased stakeholder value. Existing assets, we're just going to skip through all the blah. Uh, there, here's the site map of what they got going down. So there you go on that. Looks like you got all of uh, southern Texas, Louisiana. Now obviously that that's, that's hard hit from the hurricane prayers to the people out there. But that's not saying they're not going to rebuild and everything like that. So... Uh, if there's some kind of dump, because if they confirm there's any damages to anything or things like that, then uh, obviously it possibly could send a, a dip. But a dip is not bad for you when uh, you buy in on the dip. So Camber, through its majority-owned subsidy, Viking Energy Group owns a working interest in multiple oil gas fields across Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Properties include 145 active conventional oil and gas wells, along with several development prospecting utilizing hundreds of miles of 3D seismic data. So not only with the oil and gas wells, uh, the main thing here is with oil, and I'm going to tell you this. Uh, as If you can get in on this with that being that cheap as well, you're going to, I'm already going to tell you, you're going to see gas up the wazoo because uh, Q-Card right now is asking uh, the, the oil cartels, uh, basically, uh, there, he's like, dude, I need you guys to pump more oil, and I need you guys, I need more oil and things like that, uh, because they've basically uh, cut every, we've cut everything off and we've stopped uh, production, more production than we had before. That's why your gas prices are up. Also, because your dollar is uh, basically worth nothing, and uh, they they're going to uh, go uh, look for uh, better dollar ruskies, because as the dollar goes to crapazoid. Uh, these oil cartels are going to look for euros and the yen there instead of the dollar. Uh, just because as your dollar gets devalued, uh, you are going to, and you can call this a hot take, I'm not trying to get you guys all riled up or anything, I'm just telling you what's possibly going to happen in the future. So uh, with oil, uh, you're going to want to have that always, and if you can get a, th a company this cheap like that for what they do, uh, the, those states right there are almost uh, proof of they're going to be doing what they can and what they what they can get out of those without possible interruption there. So that that's mine there for you. They also have uh, a and this also as well with the with the natural gas take we haven't had a full year of Q card yet in the regime. So with what is going on with the regime, uh, you could see. Uh, dollar Ruskies flowing to your wallet uh, with you getting this on the cheap because I think energy prices, this is going to be your full year now, Winter, both winters you're going to have the January, February part 
and you're going to have the December and November part. Uh, they're going to have December, November, and the beginning of January with QCard. And now you're going to see your oil prices and gas prices skyrocket. So I'm not trying to take advantage of a situation, but what I'm saying is that if you can get this in the summer right now, now is the time to do it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, their properties also do hydrocarbons from the known reserves of sands on the onshore Gulf Coast region. All Vikings uh, Gulf, Gulf Coast assets are managed by the subsidy Petrodome Operating LLC, a licensed operator for ap applicable states. The company's management and operating team are professional expertise, petroleum engineering, geophysics, geology, finance, and leasing individuals in key positions. And they have 100 years of experience in oil and gas acquisition developments across the Gulf Coast region. Okay guys, going on to Stockwitz, that's where the real traders are at. Uh, C, uh, Pepe Money says CEI merger tomorrow, who's ready for 10 plus? Uh, when is the merger expected? That's what they said. Come on Stockwitz, get your shit together. Uh, CEI, what a day. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Camber Energy extinguished 8.9 million of total debt. CEI starting with 11k US stack back dollars backed up to the Big thanks to this chat room. Uh, CI, I'm a follower. Uh, let's see, CI, $2 soon. It's No, it's not that far of a reach. I'm, like I said, dude, this is, you're getting way, way too cheap. It's just, this is too cheap for what you have. Uh, CI, anyone close to being persuaded to buying this mesh should take a quick glance at the financials and the market cap. Take a look at the chat from the broader view of the year. This thing is ultimately moves in one direction with the occasional pump and dump and occurs uh, on the way down. Don't mention the emotions, get caught up in holding this dead weight for too long. Uh, Cam McClure, you could say that, but uh, go back to 66 oil fields a long time ago and check out that one in the, we're talking the, the six and eight year chart and see during uh, the last cue card uh, as far as the regime and then see where they're at on oil and natural gas there. Uh, right, I'm dumping all my CE profits into Lordstown. That's not that bad of an idea. CE has resistant walls in 7884, which could possibly turn the support levels when broken. Let's break. Uh, so you got both takes of where you're at. Uh, you got to make the decision of where you're going to get out on this one. Uh, my my uh, take is always get on the cheap. Don't buy on pump and dump week or anything like that. Or, or you need to go get in when... Uh, there's a, there's a discount for some of these when they're this one's not really being promoted but it is being promoted if that makes sense it's not showing up on a pump and dump list as far as I can see but you got to check out you got you got to be comfortable where your buy point is uh, not my buy point is never uh, when you got pump up the jam people going up and down so make it a green day uh, don't make it a dog show and good night now.